G'day, it's Stork here again. I just thought I'd uh, introduce you to the next instalment of the Sabo build. So this is my galley box. Um, so I've just built this from pieces of pine and given it some marine varnish. Very simple, just holds on. The lid holds on with a couple of just strips of uh, old bike tube. Removable lid. Um, what I've done there is just screwed in a very, very thin veneer of ply. Um, that'll act as like a heat proof surface so it won't melt any of my varnish. And that becomes a tray, like a serving tray in the boat. Uh, then inside I've got two compartments, or three actually. Um, one is the stove compartment. Now I've already got the stove set up. Obviously you wouldn't travel with it set up like that. But when you want to cook, um, essentially away you go. And then that all folds up. Um, it's just like a Trangia type stove. Under here, I just have um, various bits and pieces of tools and things. Um, flint starter. Pencils, torch, other bits and pieces, um, cleaning gear and other stuff can go in there. Um, I've, I've lined all of the inside of the cooking compartment with 0.3mm um, aluminium sheet um, and that'll stop any of the heat from the stove affecting the timber and the varnish. A couple of brass hinges and just a simple catch. Um, and then this compartment over here will just be for storing food. There's enough room in there for a couple of days where we've got a very important kettle. In terms of securing it into the boat, this is what I'm thinking of using. Um, so these are like um, really, really strong magnet latches um, so I'll probably screw that to one of the stiffeners in the floor and screw this to the bottom of the box I've got two of them um, and the box will just sit there and these have eight kilograms of um, holding force which is double what the box will ever weigh so I think that'll be plenty strong enough actually very hard to get them off um, so yeah that's Pretty much that'll just screw under there like that and you just plonk it in the boat in the right spot and it will hold itself there. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Otherwise I can quite simply put a strap over it. That's pretty much it. Job done. So let's have a look at the construction features of the box itself. Um, so like I said it was made with uh, pine and I just did uh, very very simple joints in each corner screwed and glued Same with the bottom. The bottom actually fits inside the side walls. It's quite simple, very strong. Uh, the central dividing wall is just screwed and glued in. Put the aluminium sheeting. I used fiberglass resin with some um, glue powder filler. Um, just painted it on the back and then clamped them in position. It was really quite simple. Two brass hinges and a very, very simple catch. And the door actually has a little bit of pressure on it, so it'll hold itself in position. Uh, to make sure I had some overlap on the inside, I actually 
if you can see that extended the aluminium sheet a little bit further past and put a little little bend on it so as it comes around in here it engages nice and neatly with that probably doesn't matter because I probably won't ever cook with the door closed because you need to get airflow into the bottom of the transier uh, in terms of the lid it's just a piece of seven millimeter ply and I just um, some 20 by 8 uh, edging around it, um, just mitre jointed it, screwed and nailed into the edge, sorry glued and nailed into the edge and then just planed nice and neatly. Um, and then I'm just holding this little piece of veneer in with simply with four screws so that if it ever gets burnt or damaged from the heat, I can just replace it easily. That's it, one galley box.